What's up everyone, Patrick here, welcome back. And in this video, what we're gonna do is solve the unknowns with these two equations here. So notice we gotta solve for x and y. So different ways to do this, you could do substitution, you could do elimination. In this case, I'll show you both methods actually, but I'm gonna start off with elimination. Just usually with substitution, what I try to do is look for single variables that are alone but notice that all the variables have a coefficient attached to them. So I'm gonna start off with elimination. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to try to get these x's here to be the same. And the way I can do that is I can multiply this 2x by three, but if I multiply this 2x by three, I gotta multiply everything by three. And then this 3x, I can multiply by two, but then I gotta multiply everything by two. And notice when I do that, then I'm gonna have 6x in both of the equations. So continuing this over here, so we'll have 6x plus 15y equals uh, negative 54. Then over here from this one, we'll have 6x minus 8y equals 38. And now what I could do is I can subtract this equation from this one. And then notice the x's will cancel out. So 6x minus 6x, that ends up being just 0x. So we don't have to put anything. 15y minus negative 8y is like 15y plus 8y, which would give us 23y. And then this over here, negative 54 minus 38 would give us what? Negative 92. And then notice now we could just solve for y. We could divide this by 23, this by 23, and we would end up getting y equals negative four. And then what we can do is we can plug in this y value of negative four into either this equation or this one that we were given and solve for x. So if I plug it in here, I'll end up having two x, five times negative four gives us minus 20 equals negative 18 bring the negative 20 over, so I'll have 2x equals two, so x would be one, right? So x is equal to one, y is equal to negative four, that's the solution to this problem. Or these two lines, these are two lines here, they intersect at the point one and negative four. Right, another way you could have done this is instead of making them the same sign, you could have made them opposite signs. So I could have maybe multiplied all of this by negative three or all of this by negative two. So if I did that, let's say I multiplied everything here by negative two, I would end up, we're keeping this as three. So all of this is still gonna become this, six x plus uh, 15y equals negative 54. But now if I multiply this by everything here by negative two, I'd end up with negative six x plus eight y equals negative 38, like that. And now instead of subtracting because the signs are the same, I could add these because six x plus negative six x would cancel out to zero. Right, so I would add these instead of subtracting, and so I'd end up with 23y, and then over here I'd end up with negative 92. Right, so y would be negative four. Same answer that we got before. Right, so different ways to do this. Sometimes uh, students like to get opposite signs here because it's easier to see when you're adding everything. You don't have to like distribute this negative to this to that. Whichever way you do it, just make sure you're getting the right answer. Now, if we were to do substitution, again, there's no variable that's isolated here, but what I can do is maybe take this. So let me rewrite this equation. I got two X plus five Y equals negative 18. I can maybe divide everything by two, right? Get that X by itself. So I'd have X plus five over two Y or two and a half Y equals negative nine. So I took this equation, converted it to this. Now I could isolate for this x. And then I could plug in this expression for this x value. So I'd have three times negative nine minus two and a half y minus four y equals 19, right? So I feel like it's just a little bit more algebra because we got to do this work initially versus doing it with elimination, but 
some students just like to do uh, substitution a lot more, so I thought I would show it as well. In fact, I like to do substitution more as well. Right, so what would we end up with here? We would end up with negative 11.5y, and then this here would end up being, what, 46? And then we can divide both sides by negative 11.5. The y would be by itself. 46 divided by negative 11.5 would give us negative 4. All right, same value that we got here. And then you would take that and you can maybe even plug it in here since the x is isolated here. So if you plugged in negative 4, negative 2.5 times negative 4 is positive 10, negative 9 plus 10 indeed gives us positive 1. All right, so different methods you could do to solve this uh, system, whichever way you do it. 1 and negative 4 are your final answer.